All right, welcome back. Here we go. So let's say, for instance, you want to bring in several points at one time, and you kind of want to do a batch where, um, let's say you want to look at return temp, discharge air temp, the duct static, chill water valve, VFD signal, VFD status, start stop command. I'm going to bring them all in at one time. So what you can do is you can have a text and a background all in the same time. Make display name label. You got to click on that and that's going to show you what your point name is. That way you can build and if you have a very solid way of the, the way you're labeling all your points, um, it'll create a nice label for you if you want to do everything all at once. So we'll click OK. Here you go. It's brought in all the points. And here is all your labels. So let's say you want to do kind of a batch edit on this. So you go here, go to Edit Properties. And let's say you want everything to be, instead of going to the left, which would be, I have everything, everything's already, so we'll go center, 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 center. Um, let's say you want to make the background white. You'll make them all white. Boom. Now everything's here. If you wanted to do one other thing, you can go to edit properties. The bad part is, is with this, it doesn't have, um, it doesn't come where you can add um, a border. You'd have to right click on it and add borders to each one individually. Or if you wanted to, you could take one of these right here. And so you can move these around and do whatever you'd like to do with them. It's just, I'm just kind of trying to show you different ways on how to build on it and how to add things however you like. You don't necessarily have to have a background. You can leave the background out. Um, I know a lot of people that do not have background colors when it comes to just their labeling, which is fine. Like I said, we just go back here, make that null. Then what you can do, so let's say for instance, you want to do, we'll right click, add a new label. We're gonna make, we're gonna put, this, this, this way is easier. It's the way I like to do them anyways. So I'm gonna go in here, I'm gonna take this ord out. It's already got a border. So let's say for instance, I wanna make this border a little bit thicker. I wanna make the background light gray. We're not messing with any of this other stuff. We're gonna leave all this alone because this is just gonna be a background. Right click, edit properties, not proper, I'm sorry. I want to reorder to the bottom. Now everything here. So let's say for instance, I wanted this stuff back here to be white. I go to edit properties, background, make them all white, cancel. And then there we go. And then you can click on edit, and now you started building your blocks, um, showing here's here's all your temperatures. And so, depending upon how you want to do it, there are people that move all their text to the right, where it's close, wherever it's ending, so that way when it goes back, everything is uh, pretty pretty consistent. Or a lot of people do everything to the left, where everything starts to the left, and then they leave a little bit of a gap between here and here. Then, if you don't like everything being as super tight as this one, you can highlight over one, do control, up, one, do it two times, give yourself a little bit of a break. Or you can do it where you only go up partial and you get that little bit of a line break. I like it where it's a little bit cleaner. Like I said, 
to each his own on how you want to build your graphics. I'm just trying to get you help and started. So, for instance, like I said with this, let's go into Edit Properties. And we're going to make everything to the left, right? So we're going to go left. Now everything is over to the left, and you got a consistent line all the way down. Um, now let's say right here with this temperature, let's say for the background, we want to animate it. We want it to default to be white, but as it's changing temperatures out of what would be considered um, a regular mode, we can mess with. So we'll right click. Since this is discharge air temp, normally um, it's going to be a little bit cooler, obviously. Um, for us, we keep everything around 50 to 60. just depends upon the outside air temperature and everything that's going on in the building based on the common return. So we'll click Add. Now we have our negative INF and our positive infinite. So for this color, since it's going to be a cooler color, let's go with blue. But then this alpha, what I'd like to do is I want to make this start to, um, I don't want it to be a dark, dark blue. I want it to just kind of be a lighter. So let's go about 30%. And we'll go here. And as we increase, we want it to start turning red. Then for normal, we want it to always just be this white background. So let's say, for instance, anything below 50, or let's say let's say 50, we start showing a little bit blue, showing that we're a little too out of range. And anything above 60, we start showing a little bit of a warmer color. So we click OK. Now we've animated the background. We can right click and we can animate this also. Um, let's say certain colors didn't line up properly. You can do however you like, but make sure that when you're doing it, you're matching up with your numbers on your background. And then here's your default, and you can make your default black if you like. Click OK. Same thing here. Our default is white. And then we want to sync the ranges, meaning that it's automatically going to start changing as we go. So we click here, boom. Now we've gotten a little bit of a red background showing that our temperature is a little out of range. It kind of gives a, the engineer or the end user a warning that, hey, our temperature is getting high. Might want to check into it. Um, so I just wanted to give you guys this first one. And we'll start going from there. We'll go to the next step.